Hello folks, <laughs> so welcome to the van. We're gonna do a little bit of interesting ham radio stuff today. In my bag of many things. Some coax cable, some battery snap connectors to fit two large Milwaukee batteries, a current clamp meter, some thin antenna cable, A 24 volt to 12 volt DC converter, 30 amps. This is key. And two hefty 5.5 amp hour Milwaukee batteries. These power tool batteries are gonna get plugged into this Tobson 30 amp 24 volt to 12 volt DC converter and eventually we will rig all of this up to an ICOM 706 Mark II G and hopefully we'll be able to have a chat with somebody maybe even in a different country uh, all battery powered all powered by two 18 to 20 volt lithium cells so let's have a look at the electrics first. We've got here then two 18 volt lithium ion packs, which are cheap Chinese knockoffs, but equivalent to Milwaukee batteries. And we've got two of my battery snap connectors here. These are available on eBay. I'll pop a link to the eBay site. I make them for DeWall and most major batteries. So what we're gonna do, these are both fully charged by the way. And what I've done is I've put Anderson power pole connectors on this wire adapter that I've made up here. And this wire adapter connects both of those batteries in parallel. Key thing, you need to make sure they are both fully charged when you do this. If you don't, if one of them is undercharged, the other one will dump current into the other battery, which would suck. It's just a waste and potentially if it's discharged enough it might actually cause problems and maybe burn out some cables so that's one thing to watch out for when doing something like this the other thing to watch out for when doing something like this is clearly this guy here is a 12 volt rig it's not an 18 or 20 volt rig and the likelihood is is you'll blow up the 706 mark 2g if you plug 18 to 20 volts into it so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in to this device here and this device is a Tobson DC to DC converter and it converts from 24 volts input to 12 volts output. So let's go ahead and plug that in line. So what we've done now then is we've plugged in those two batteries in parallel, we've connected them into the DC to DC buck converter and we've taken the 12 volts output of that DC to DC buck converter and we've plugged it into the 706 Mark II G. Let's turn on the 706. There it is, happy days. First things first, let's just turn that, turn that RF power down. We don't wanna be broadcasting at 100 watts with nothing plugged into the back of it. So talking about plugging stuff into the back of that, we've now gotta make ourselves up a little antenna. So what I've done here is I've taken a bit of RG58 CU coax and I've got a bit of orange cable connected to the center conductor and I've got a bit of green cable connected to the shield and that effectively is going to create a dipole that we're going to take outside and string between two trees. And then what we've got to do is plug this PL259 connector into the SA239 connector on the back of the radio. Chuck it all out the car window and see what happens. That's our PL259 connector. We can shove that, shove that through the window in the van. If you follow that cable, you'll see just here, <laughs> you'll see 
our antenna strung or our aerial <laughs> strung between the tree and the van right let's turn this let's turn the radio on and see what happens and let's make sure we've chosen the correct band I would say we're about a quarter wave for 40 meters. So let's have a look and see uh, see if we can hear something on the radio. Mexico Zero X-ray X-ray X-ray. A Mike Zero X-ray 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 M Zero Triple X. Again, again, again. A Mexico Zero X-ray X-ray X-ray. Mexico Zero X-ray 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 Five Nine Fifty Nine. Thank you. Also Five Nine Seven Three. Good luck. I need your H. I need your H, please. Uh, is Four Six Four Six. <laughs> so <laughs> so just to sort of prove the principle <laughs> there we go uh, Delta Lima 2 somewhere in Germany um, and I've got to be honest I've been a very naughty boy I didn't even SWR in the radio antenna uh, in fact what I did do is I kept the RF power turned down quite uh, quite a lot so um, I need to SWR in the antenna and once I've done that and then we can probably look at turning the power up and uh, and seeing how things how things work see if we can actually run this radio a hundred watts I think I'm gonna do that at home where I can tune uh, a decent antenna up but what I wanted to do really is just show you the principle that this absolutely works as a mobile setup and that was the roughest and uh, readiest and quickest I've ever actually set up a piece of ham radio kit mobile. So thanks to those lithium ion packs and that Topsun DC to DC converter we're able to run this radio out portable. This all packs down and this all packs down nice and neatly into a small bag a little QRP bag, if you like. How cool is that? Right, let's take it home and put it to test properly. <laughs> We're back in the radio shack in the house. And what I've done then is I've set up exactly the same system now. But what I can do is I can tune it into my aerial outside the house and I can make sure that the SWR is set correctly and then we can actually put out up to 100 watts. And I guess that ultimately is the acid test. Will this do 100 watts with the Icon 706 Mark II G? So, fingers crossed. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is use the current clamp meter just to check those currents um, and see what the efficiency of the input and the output of the unit looks like. In order to make sure that your SWR is correct, what I'm looking for is maximum forward power on this meter and minimum reflected power on this meter. So we want this meter stay, to stay still and we want this meter to wind upwards. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? M0 triple X. Okay, can't hear anyone on frequency, so let's have a look. We're about 50% power right now. Let's turn that all the way up. And let's try again. So this is now 100 watts lower sideband on 40 meters. 
Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? Look at the meter. Is this frequency in use? So 100 watts is just here. Let's see if we can achieve 100 watts by doing a very Italian thing and whistling into the microphone. Oh yeah, we're above 100 watts quite happily. Is this frequency in use Mexico? Zero X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. We've got no compression on uh, as far as audio goes and all the rest of it. Let's just give a call out, see if anybody returns our call. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Mexico zero, X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. M0 triple X calling CQ and listening. The adapter itself is absolutely stone cold. It's not warm at all. The radio is ever so slightly lukewarm as you'd expect it to be. Now, let's get the current clamp meter out. Well, a bit like you can see that meter there, it's showing that the ICOM 706 and the converter are drawing about 0.8 of an amp uh, when it's powered on in receive mode without the volume turned up. So that's the current being consumed in standby mode uh, on receive from the two batteries. Let's have a look at the other side of the unit here. So when we get on the other side of the unit, we can see um, that we've got 1.36 amps. Now bearing in mind, of course, this is at 12 volts on this side, and the other side, 0.8 of an amp, was at 18 to 20 volts. And in fact, the batteries themselves are almost fully charged, so they're gonna be on 20 volts. So uh, yeah, okay, we can do a calculation and we'll put the efficiency number just down here somewhere. There you go, that's, uh, that's, that's the efficiency in receive mode. In fact, it looks like it's quite efficient uh, from some rough calculations in my head there. All right, let's, um, let's leave it on the 12 volt side and let's turn the power up and uh, let's transmit. Mexico zero. Okay, so we've gone past two amps. So let's just switch to 20 amps and make sure we're in DC mode. 1.34 amps there. Mexico zero, X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. So actually, even when we're transmitting at 100 watts with this radio, we're not even getting close to peaking 10 amps. That's pretty good. So when you tune around the band, there are no sprogs. This device, this converter here, doesn't seem to be chucking out any nasty uh, radio waves which are interfering with the receive frequencies on your receiver. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. This thing's definitely going to go out mobile with me for quite a while. And finally, <clears throat> one quick test on the power in here. Mexico zero, X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. Mexico zero, X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. Yeah. So we're back on the 24 volt side of the system and we're lucky to see five amps being consumed from these two when we're transmitting. So yeah, just to sort of sum things up then, I would say that you could probably use these two batteries to drive this 706 at maximum power with a torque ratio of sort of 20% talking, 80% um, listening. And I believe you should be able to operate this system like that for about five hours. That's pretty good. Now, if like me, you enjoy a good bit of QRP operation, which is low power operation, I believe you could probably run this system here for between 10 to 15 hours before you had to recharge those batteries up there. And in fact, I have a charger that would run from 10 volts to 36 volts. It's called an IMAX B6 and it's completely configurable. They're only about a tenner and they would work quite happily charging these batteries up Anyway, folks, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope it's been a bit of fun. It certainly was for me getting out and about in a van and having a muck around with some radio stuff. And if anybody wants any of this lot setting up for them, let me know. 
and I'm quite happy to put a system together for you. Pop your thoughts in the comments section down below. All right, guys and girls, as always, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Give us a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, people. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.